Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today's topic focuses on a newly released model developed in China. The discussion will revolve around the Kimi K2 model. Displayed here is the Kimi AI platform featuring the K2 model, which is currently available for access. This model presents a fresh development that is now being explored. It is accessible at no cost and at this moment, there are no alternative options. A language selector is provided and the English version will be utilized for this demonstration. Access to the account has already been established. As evident here, the login process has been completed successfully. Several tasks have been performed under various conditions. However, for now, the K2 model will be the focus due to its free availability. The theme to be demonstrated involves the use of this model as an open agentic system. It is the latest mixture of experts model, featuring 32 billion activated parameters and a total of 1 trillion parameters. It delivers state-of-the-art performance in advanced knowledge, mathematics, and programming among non-cognitive models. But it extends beyond that, meticulously optimized for agent-like behavior. Kimi K2 does not simply respond, it takes action. What can be done with this is that if comparison is needed, that can be performed as well. The intelligence being introduced now brings up the question, does this serve as a rival in the field? It appears to be a strong contender and is likely to remain relevant due to its integration with agent-based technologies. At this point, the Kimi K2 base model is being released with open access. This version is available right here, along with another variant, the Kimi K2 Instruct. The latter is a post-trained version that suits general purpose interactions and agent-based experiences seamlessly. Kimi K2 represents an advanced form of agent-based intelligence now accessible to users. For instance, when assessing its performance in areas like agentic operations and competitive programming tasks, it holds significant potential. In terms of SWB, single word benchmark verification, there's a comparative reference to Anthropic, which achieved a benchmark score of 79.4 across several runs, approaching 80. In contrast, this recently introduced tool has reached a score of 71. When compared with three other available tools, those alternatives currently reflect slightly lower performance levels. Multilingual capability is another key aspect, which positions it above the standard level in the live code benchmark. Based on current data, this appears to be the most effective tool in that space. In the OJ benchmark, this model stands out as a top-rated option. Within the ACE bench framework, its performance remains strong. For English language tasks, there are comparable alternatives found in GPT-related tools. However, other tools fall short or are not accessible in this context. All available data suggests it is a viable option worth exploring. Now, let's go over how it can be used along with some practical examples. To begin with, it can handle salary data analysis covering the period from 2022 to 2025. One possible application involves evaluating the impact of remote work ratios on salary figures. A comprehensive prompt has been prepared for this purpose. There are numerous examples provided, including a Stanford GNP genealogy dataset. This indicates that with a well-structured prompt, it can generate the necessary components to build an interactive visualization platform tailored for NLP. It proceeds by offering a detailed prompt right from the beginning. To finish, it will complete the task, and in the end, it will deliver a fully editable website. This is entirely free to use. There's no need to spend even a penny. It can be used at no cost from beginning to end. The next example is related to a Coldplay tour. How can this tour be taken further? What does the budget look like? All such details are readily available. Lastly, there are examples related to coding. If an example in Minecraft is needed, all the features are accessible there. If there's a need to perform pre-post normal analysis, it can be done automatically. There's an option for creating a Rust flask. If a Rust flask needs to be created here, it can be done directly. The final results are displayed here in real time. Speaking of a JavaScript Minecraft example, the result shows a fully loaded 3D Minecraft that can be played right here. It can be completely explored. A user console is also available. Displayed here is a fully developed, free 3D game that has been generated and made ready for use. In addition to that, there's another notable feature worth mentioning, norm analysis. Within this functionality, both pre-norm and post-norm options are available, enabling various configurations to be executed effectively. There are several other features as well. When examining its base instructions, the Kimi K2 Instruct stands out as the most current version. It is designed for high-end performance and, based on benchmarking, performs at the upper tier. Additionally, it surpasses all test scenarios and assigned tasks with consistent success. This further solidifies its position as a dependable flagship solution. 
To demonstrate its capabilities, a random query can be introduced. For example, the prompt, find the top five best hotels in Paris, France, was entered. Upon submission, the K2 model was immediately activated. The speed of execution is clearly visible. It instantly gathered the relevant web search results in a single click. The process was carried out automatically and efficiently. It displayed that all relevant responses were included. Among the results were listings such as Brussels Paris, Ritz Paris, and several other noteworthy options. Moving to the first example, a wide range of detailed data is available for analysis and use. Initiating a new chat now to verify whether the response is genuine or misleading. To begin with, a comprehensive analysis is already in place, which will serve as the foundation for further testing. After execution, it has provided various responses. As shown here, it is presenting detailed information. Every piece of content related to the topic is embedded along with reference sources. When reviewing the source, a citation has been included that points to a specific website. This content can be read directly or inserted instantly. The responses are significantly faster, showcasing the efficiency of this highly capable tool that can be used automatically. There's also a PDF file available, which can be read without any manual conversion. It generates extensive documents, and this entire package can be reviewed from start to finish for a complete understanding. It offers access to insights, analytics, and related observations. Additionally, it can automatically solve mathematical problems and equations. All the features previously mentioned about Quen are relatively new to the market. For those interested in deploying them on a larger scale, this can be done without additional setup. If any of these examples are to be applied in coding or similar tasks, automation is fully supported. For instance, consider the request. Create a full portfolio website using a single file with HTML, inline CSS and JavaScript. The individual's name is Alex Hills, a professional with full stack development experience. Once this prompt is submitted, you can observe the tool's immediate response. It immediately indicates that the response is about to begin. Rather than presenting numerous options, it directly generates the required code, and the portfolio is created right away. This clearly confirms that the example used in the query is accurately processed and executed. The available token count is also shown, indicating how many million tokens are accessible. Regarding its agent-based functionalities, the model demonstrates high-scale capabilities in agentic data synthesis and tool-assisted learning. It also supports general reinforcement learning, making it adaptable for various advanced tasks. If there's a need to run this model in a web browser, that too is fully supported. K2 has been selected. If this step is to be skipped, K2 can be used directly on Moonshot. For personal integration, it can be added to a GitHub repository. The limitations it presents are clearly outlined. All limitations related to the specific use case are visible. At this point, the code is being generated. After a few weeks, a complete video has been prepared and a full code base has been generated. Within this code, by scrolling upwards, an automatic preview becomes visible. This preview shows how the website has been structured. Buttons and related features are functioning directly. When the website view is slightly reduced in size, the header and footer appear correctly. The layout adjusts seamlessly and remains visually consistent. Alongside this, a tech enthusiast's perspective is displayed. Navigating to that section reveals complete functionality and additional components. In the code, explanations are provided, resulting in a fully developed website. The tool can be applied on a broader scale across various use cases. The developer behind it is recognized as a skilled researcher. Additional K2 features can be implemented as well. A prompt library is available, where files can be attached. Once this is done, the model is synthesized automatically and prepared for use in the days ahead. If the model were a paid one, it could confidently be said that its performance surpasses ChatGPT. The features demonstrated here appear even after the usage limit was reached. While that platform transitioned to a paid model, this tool continues to provide all of these capabilities without any cost. Hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can receive notifications on my latest video.